Dawkins has a second objection, which is actually more philosophical that I know you've thought about. Uh, he says, any designer who fine-tuned the universe would be so complex that it would require the same kind of explanation. So if we have an intelligent designer, this still needs a higher level explanation because such a designer would need to be even more complex. And supposedly this would go on and on and on and ultimately solve nothing. Your thoughts? Yeah, the who, designed, who designed the designer objection? Um, well, there's first of all, the sauce for the goose. Two can play that game. You can, you can say the ultimate explanation is a self-replicating molecule, um, but you can't. It, but the self-replicating molecule, as we've just <laughs> described, requires a prior explanation that um, actually is. Um, can't be can't be provided within the framework of the Darwinian process, you know. So okay. uh, every system requires a primitive. It requires something. For, uh, an, uh, a, it require every philosophical system requires positing a primitive, a thing, the thing from which everything else came. Okay, and the two great systems that have been in competition in Western philosophy since the ancient Greeks are materialism and mm -hmm. theism or mm -hmm. some variants of, uh, of each of dialectical materialism. You have deism, you have, and you have pantheism as well. I deal with all these different worldviews in return of the God hypothesis and, and evaluate their explanatory power. But the, 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 every, you can always, if you think matter and energy are eternal and self-existent and you want to start with, uh, some material state as your ex or ultimate explanation, you can always say, well, where did that come from? And you have sure. an infinite regress problem in materialism yep. every bit as you do in theism, right? Um, or you just posit something as the eternally existent, self-existent thing that required no prior cause. And that could either be a, a, a material state or it could be a mental state. It could be a mind or an agent. Uh, so the question then becomes, as we're evaluating which of these two metaphysical systems provides a better overall explanation, the question is not which is subject to a potential infinite regress problem. Both are, all such systems are, because we can always think about something before that. Um, but rather, which is a better candidate to be the thing from which everything else came? the thing, the better candidate to be the explanation of all the things we see around us. What well, happens that all the things we see around us, we now call the universe and the universe had a beginning. So matter and energy mm. uh, are, I think, very poor candidates to be the eternal self-existent thing from which everything else came because they began to exist. And what begins to exist, I think, requires a cause. I think that's a that's a basic principle of rationality. Um, and so, um, so I, I think that the, the Big Bang theory, the evidence that we have supporting it, the, 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 the proofs of the cosmological singularity, the board guth of Lincoln proof, the mm -hmm. very different, the very, the multiple lines of evidence or developments in theoretical physics that are either pointing to or proving a beginning, I think suggest that, that, <clears throat> um, that a transcendent intelligence provides a better overall explanation of the, or uh, of the um, let's put it this way is a better candidate to be the eternal self-existent sure. thing than, than is matter the matter okay. seems to have required something to bring it into existence hmm. that's great there's also the question of if a mind is capable of bringing fine-tuning things minds are necessarily not complex in the same way that a computer or a watch you know there's certain assumptions that Dawkins has worked into this well, as well. Well, he has this, he has um, this weird way of applying Occam's razor to say, well, that's right. Um, you know, explain a molecule in terms of, or if you explain DNA in terms of a mind, then you're explaining something that's complex in terms of something that's more complex, and that's a violation of Occam's razor. Occam's razor, uh, um, <clears throat> and you can think of a mind as a simple thing, or you can think of it as a complex thing, to, depending on the way you cash that out. But in either case, it's a misapplication of Occam's razor. That's right. Occam's principle is that you should not multiply 
theoretical entities needlessly. And what the, the and what the theistic design hypothesis does is precisely respect Occam's razor. It posits a singular, a single theoretical entity, whereas the multiverse, for example, which is the go-to explanation now for the fine-tuning, posits not only a gabillion other universes, a quasi-infinite number of other universes, it also posits uh, at least two separate universe-generating mechanisms, each of which entails the need to affirm the existence of multiple other theoretical entities. Let me unpack that a little bit. It's actually a very striking um, point philosophically. Um, it turns out that the inflationary cosmology, because you're just spinning out new bubble universes within the universe you started with, does generate new initial conditions, but it doesn't change the laws and constants of physics. So it doesn't actually generate by itself enough of the right kind of universes to render our universe with two types of fine tuning plausible. We have fine tuning of initial conditions and fine tuning of laws and constants of physics. So the, the, the inflationary cosmology would, in the best of cases, only account for the improbable fine tuning of initial conditions, but not the laws and constants of physics. Okay. Conversely, string theory, which is also mm -hmm invoked as a universe generating mechanism, um, can conceivably generate uh, new laws and constants of physics because each of the string theoretic equations is thought to correspond to new laws of physics and the way you have this thing called the uh, lines of flux and the way they wrap around strings is thought to correspond to new uh, constants of physics, but it does nothing to generate new initial conditions. So in virtue of that, you now have the string inflationary uh, cosmo, uh, um, multiverse. The, 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 the string theorists have, or multiverse proponents have actually conjoined these two models. So when you begin then to count the number of theoretical, purely theoretical postulates, purely hypothetical entities that the uh, multiverse proponents have to affirm, you end up with a I, I counted about 10 in my, my book. You have to believe that strings are the fundamental uh, basis of reality, uh, uh, vibrating strings of energy. You have to believe in extra dimensions of space. You have to believe in uh, an inflaton field. You have to believe in the lines of flux that wrap around the strings. You have to believe that, that finely tuned inflaton shutoff energies will in fact generate new universes. There's a, a whole suite of theoretical postulates that you have to posit in order to explain the phenomena that the one single postulation of a transcendent mind explains simply, beautifully, and consistently with our experience. We know that minds generate finely tuned systems. Got it. We have no equivalent hmm. experience of any of these hypothetical entities generating fine tuning, uh, fine -tuned, finely tuned systems. So sure. I think that's another reason to prefer the theistic design hypothesis over the multiverse. It is simpler in the Occam's razor sense, That's and great. Dawkins' application of of the the multi or not the, of the 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 Occam's razor principle is 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 um, is, is not apt. It, it's it's not the it's not what's meant by simplicity. Hmm. That the, the the entity itself can have no complexity to it. It's rather if the entity exists, if we know a mind, if we know minds exists, then um, there's there's an inherent simplicity in positing something which is known to exist and has known causal powers. Hmm. Steve, one of the reasons I love interviewing you is because I learn stuff myself every time, even though I've read your book multiple times. You go into depth in your book, Return of the God Hypothesis. Let me ask you this. I have three left for you. For Can these, I say one, just one other thing about the, the Dawkins sure. thing? I mean, sure. you have a monster bestseller, three million he copies. Did. It's Influence, you know, influence many, many, many young people in particular. And you have a biologist whose specialty was snails, mm. I think, who's mm. made a well-deserved mm. reputation for himself as a science popularizer because he writes beautifully and he frames issues beautifully. But the lack of depth philosophically of mm. his reasoning about these things is kind of breathtaking. Um, mm. There are 
and, and I, I just have to say, this is not, th these are not persuasive objections to, to fine tuning or- I agree. Or life. I mean, and there's so much more to say about these arguments that he doesn't engage in these books. And, and many, many good, good theistic responses that he doesn't engage. At the end of the day, it ultimately, the, the books represent a kind of a straw man because he does not take pains to engage his most sophisticated or rigorous interlocutors. He's not taking the strongest version of the theistic argument across any of these classes of evidence. And I think mm. people just need to be aware of that. I, I've complimented Dawkins because I do love the way he I frames I appreciate issues. that. But I, I do, on this point, when you get into what he's written in these in these monster best-selling popular books, they don't go very deep and they specifically do not address the best arguments on the other side. Mm. And I've taken mm. pains to do that in my work. And I think it's incumbent upon yes, the naturalists to do the same thing. And I don't think they do it.